my biggest fear of all of it <clears throat> for myself and I know for a lot of other people is like you said when you see it, it affects you. Mm. My fear is for a lot of people, it's starting not to anymore. Ooh, that's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's the, bro, like that scares me. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, bro, when you're sitting there and you see this and people are like, yo, ain't that the most American thing ever? Going with your kids to watch some fucking a parade celebrating our freedom. Our freedom to what? Die Ugh. in the streets. Like, this shit is fucked up. Do you have children? Nah. Wait till you have kids. Know, then it's dude. even scarier, bro. I know. Dude. I can only imagine. When yeah, you have real. kids, then you're like, oh, my God. It, it's just so terrifying. And then the hardest part is, it's like you're even more scared. And then you have to go out in the world and then teach them to go out in the world and be like, yo, fuck that. Like, don't let these motherfuckers win. Like, be you. Smile. Be loving. Be happy. <sighs> I Y'all got kids that are the same age. Oh. It, would, would you? Two? two years old. Oh, uh, she's two? Oh. That's, that's my manager, Jeff. After the July 4th, because it was pre-LA, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to go to fireworks. <laughs> like, I got to think about this. Yeah. And right. then you're watching the fireworks thinking, oh, these are fireworks. Yeah. And not realizing these are other sounds. I, I, was, I was in uh, Huntington. We were watching it. And I swear to God, I know this sounds really sad, but I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with every single person that was there. I'm like, if you hear people screaming swim into the water and meet me over there. Like, oh, wow. We, we were doing, like, drills with each other. We're like, what the fuck did we get to? Imagine walking oh. up to watch this shit and then getting the news, and in your mind, you're like, should I leave? Because I'm, I'm with thousands of people. Is this a place? I'm right next to the pier. Is this a place that they're going to do it? Like, how did we get to a fucking place that we're, we're literally thinking like this every two seconds? And it's, and it's one thing for you to be thinking about it, but imagine that every day in fucking first period in third grade, yeah. These kids got to go sit with their teacher. Okay, so if someone comes in and your classmates start dying, he, oh my bro, God. like think about what Traumatizing. we're saying. Traumatizing, right now, bro. Traumatizing. Like think about what we're fucking saying right now. It's actually disturbing so, that we're in this place. So, so would you ever consider beyond just the music trying to affect change? Because you are articulate enough to go lobby in front of Congress to do X, Y, Z. You, you're not just a musician. Yeah, but I think I have done that. Like you said, like even bringing up Congress or things that I've done behind the scenes or with various companies, especially talking about mental health. I think if anything, that's kind of been my my, my intro. Like I'm, I'm a huge mental health advocate mm. and as other things, but I also love guns. I love guns. I fucking shoot guns. I own a million guns. I have, I have all the guns from John Wick because my boy fucking no way. makes all the John Wick guns. Uh, do you live in California? Um. I live in two places. So primarily I'm not Terran Tactical? Here. Yeah, no, but my boy Rookie, he he fucking makes all the guns. Shout out to Terran and I appreciate all the love. But what I'm saying is like, so I could be like, oh, I love guns and somebody could want to kill me. Just because I, I could be like, hey, I think a woman has every fucking right to do whatever she wants with her body. And then somebody else could want to kill me. And it's just like everything that I say, there's somebody that wants to fucking kill me. They won't do that if your if your uh approach is dedicated to mental health. There, if there's anyone out there that's like, yo, I don't want people to help men the mentally ill like that, no one's going to say yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? So no, like, I know. I guess what I'm saying is, is like, yeah, I'm Mr. Pro Mental Health, but I'm also like low-key pro guns. And the only reason I'm pro guns is because there's a lot of crazy motherfuckers getting guns and I know I'm not one of them. Mm. Like, I'm not crazy. So I'd rather have a gun on me and do the best that I can to protect me, my family, and anybody else that I got. That's all I'm saying. That's a whole nother conversation for another fucking time. We, we literally just got just into it. it last I week. changed my bio because of it. I Because there was a lot of people that sent me messages and they were like, please, really upset. Please say you put 2A gun nut. Please do me a favor. Nut, do nut. me a favor and do this in the United States and make all guns go away. I'm with you. Well, that's yes, exactly where we take were. Take away yeah, from yeah. the bad people. Bro, please, oh, we know no, that. no, yeah, take them, take them away from everyone. Oh, uh, yeah, I get what you're saying. Let's do that. Have have us out here like like England with the bobbies running around with the hey hey hey, you know, and they ain't got guns with I machetes. Did, <laughs> I did see a video of I, that was horrible. running horrifying. through the streets, machetes. machetes. This oh my god, yeah. But that's what I mean. It's like yeah, if I could, if I could, you know, flick my fingers and make the whole world a better place, I'd do it. And I think now that I'm getting older too, I'm realizing, bro. Like, not just that I'm no type of way. I'm just be real. Like, I'm realizing my worth. I'm like, oh shit, motherfucker. I'm logic. Like, I, I, <laughs> when I go somewhere. I'm logic. What Target. I mean is, it's not just. Oh yeah, but I mean, even like, I'm not just a rapper, man. Like, I'm not. I've never been like just a rapper. I mean, that's what I do. But like, I could do. I could have done this show anytime. I didn't need an album to come out. And I'm starting to realize that. Like, wow. I'm a charismatic guy. Man. <laughs> like, people fuck with me. So now it's like other just realms and things that I can get into, not only in entertainment, but possibly in, in politics or, or this just different spaces. Yeah.